All right, so today we're gonna to go over changing the filters on this reverse osmosis system. Uh, this is the RO90 to Apex water. So once a year, you wanna change these three here, the pre-filtration, uh, sediment, carbon, and carbon. So there's two carbons, and then these are, once you change like every five years or so. Um, I use Google and I have a Google Calendar reminder that just tells me once a year to, uh, to do this so that I don't forget. Um, I already have the filters are all sitting here and you can see you know what they say this is two and three two and three so the one you know two and three uh, and then the third one here it says on it one said ten so it's a sediment degree one that goes in here so the first step is to turn off the water and there's two different spots um, so you want to turn it off at the tank so it doesn't push back and that's just a little turn there and then also where the main water comes in, mine is right up here. So I just turn this off as well. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, water spraying out or trying to trying to fill in. Um, so I take these canisters off. The uh, system comes with this tool here. And it's just like anything else, you know, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Just put it on there. Make sure it's on there it's tight. Give it a push and it'll loosen. And once it's loose, just go by hand here and pull it off. It will be full of water. So if you have a bucket handy or if you're by your sump pit, just pour it in there. So you can see the old one nice and uh, nice and dirty. Now you can put the canister off to the side and we'll do the same thing for these other two. So loosen it. Spin it off. And that one, you know, nice and dirty. So, a new one. And finally, the third one. All right, so I'm going to take those upstairs. I'm just going to rinse them out with some clean water. Uh, just make sure there's no other sediment and no, no grime or anything built in. And then we'll get the new ones installed. All right, so generally speaking, I go in reverse order that I took it off. And that's just because to me, it's a little easier um, to, to do that. It's a young wrap sediment filter for this one's a carbon filter. Put it in the canister. Kind of make sure it's in the center there. You don't want it off, but it's it's pretty easy to to get it where it needs to be. You just put it on there and spin it on. Hand tighten, then take your tool and just give it one extra little tighten, and then we do the same thing for the other one. So we'll drop that in, make sure it's seated, and spin it on. And finally, the uh, sediment filter. You want to see the difference. This was the one we took off compared to the new one. But same deal. Just drop it in there. Come over here, spin it on. A little tighten. And with those three in, we just turn everything back on. So we turn our tank back on and we turn the water back on. And you can hear it running. So I'll let that go. And then I'll go upstairs and turn on the uh, water faucet for the reverse osmosis. And I'll let that kind of almost drain the tank basically. 
and start the new one. That way you can cycle through with the new stuff. Uh, so if you found this helpful, please leave a comment, uh, hit like, and hit subscribe, and you'll see more videos like this.